What's happening, Giga Chat? Stop rolling your fat dubious around because we just got Dr. Disrespect and he went bozo at Activision. He started calling them out, started having a gamer moment on stream, which you're about to see unfold. And I will carefully explain to you guys that why it's Joe over, right? Bruh. It's not as simple because brothers really think that they can just seek refuge. They can go from Call of Duty and find like a new home, a new game that they can, you know, migrate to, seek refuge to. And I will carefully explain to you why we're all wrong. wrong. Like the video if you do not cheat. And right before I show you the plot twist and the climax, guys, you're probably not ready for this one. Not many people are covering this report. Reports have claimed that a cheat provider for games, including Call of Duty, was compromised with users who purchased the cheats having their personal information stolen. Oh, the cheat reportedly had malware that stole information. Sources confirm Activision that servers were not compromised Compromise. If you bought a cheat and you had your information compromised, it was not something that happened with your Call of Duty account. It was the cheat that was downloaded. <laughs> Quickly after, uh, brother started juicing around. Brother started like dropping hashtag Call of Duty partner. Lamal, Karma's a B. Lamal, well deserved. What a surprise. A provider selling cheats cheated the cheaters. And you know, a lot of people are celebrating. A lot of people are saying this is a W moment. But guys, like, think about this for a second, right? Like, we're talking about Activision. What are the odds that actual players' data was also stolen? I'm just saying, change your passwords regardless. But this is apparently a good news as well. I mean, call, uh, call of shame. Call of shame is going to be able to farm these cheating videos for decades to come. And he's going to be exposing all these rats, which we absolutely are going to wait every single day for. But check this out. Roll it. And get it off my computer once again. I, 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 I just, I can't, I can't. I can't do it. Damn, I can't. He about, to, he about to have a gamer moment. I can't. I can't do that, man. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. I gotta talk about why it's Joe over as See well, ya. guys. Wait for it. How much time do I have here? Uh, we've been live, what, four hours? God, man, what a fucking... Uh, uh, four? Did they... Did they simply give up? Give up. I think they have. Uh oh, he better have on a Call gamer moment. Has yeah. Call of Duty given up on itself? What's the best thing I could say? Did they simply give up on Call of Duty? Like the video if on you Call think they Duty? have. This franchise is done. This franchise is the franchise on the on its way out? I'm just asking questions. Is the franchise on its way out? Let's just ask some general questions. You know? <laughs> worst yeah, I've ever man. seen it. General questions. This is huh? the worst I've. I. I don't know. There's just so many bugs and it's glitches and and I. I, I don't even fucking care enough, though. Yeah, bugs, glitches, cheats, and also a a a a a a a a But, but listen, right? Would you rather a friendly UAV online or would you rather not have curvy female characters? Like, there is no no new games coming out. I mean, yeah, this game is coming out, but, like, it's all drama. Microsoft cautions devs to avoid curvy female characters. <laughs> I, I feel you, though. I feel so you, tweet man. that out. I'm not going to tweet it out. It's all drama. What? That's where I'm at. Like, remember I was talking about it. it, it people people say it's screaming and yelling, out, and I call it, it's, it's passion. Right. I'm, I'm, we're passionate about we're passionate about this right but we can always scream and yell and scream and yell and blame and scream yeah and blaming squeeze and suffocate and scream and yell we love blaming for so long until the passion for the franchise just runs out I have none damn I have Ain't none that for that truth. franchise right now None. I feel him. I feel him. I think it's. I, I feel him, right? Because like he did not play Call of Duty for like what, like a couple of months. Ever since they like you know took screenshots of Nick Merck's BWC. Bruh. Like you gotta think about it. You gotta factor in and wait for the climax. And I gotta. I still have not talked about why it's Joe over. Because it really is Joe over, guys. But you gotta factor in. Like a couple of months ago when Nick Merck said to leave the kids alone, Activision went around, shot the guy metaphorically speaking, removed his skin. But before all of that happened, guys, you gotta understand that Nick Merck was invited out to the studio. 
He was invited out to the Activision studio, and Activision scanned his entire body, took screenshots of his BWC or LBC or LWC. I'm not sure. Listen, Bruh. I don't care. But the problem is that, guys, like, this is such a slap on Gamer's face and such a slap on Nick Nurk's face, right? Because his BWC is still stored at Activision. <laughs> They, they still have that information and they put him in the game and later on removed it kicked him out and to told him to go pound sand and ever since that doc tim they never really touched call of duty but now they are playing call of duty and now uh he's having another one of those uh, gamer moments though the worst it's ever been like like yeah, let it the all out, state bro. in which things are being developed and the ideas and what's being pushed forward and what's being prioritized and what's being forgotten and yeah. what's not being taken care of yeah you know yeah i see <laughs> like, you bro I shit see that you. we used to see get patched real fast they yeah. they said you know what fuck F it that. we're not doing anything yeah now. never doing it yep we've got heavy helicopter in the air in-game glitch that's been in since the beginning that's not that's not hasn't been fixed this fucking graphical glitch every other game that's happening that that's been in the since the very beginning and it's just getting worse and worse and worse, and it kind of makes you think, Yeah, is the engine on its last leg? It is, and right now, I gotta wait for the climax. Climax will come at the end, right? But let me actually real quick, uh, and, and let me just carefully explain to you guys why it's truly Jover. Because you you see, some of your Giga Chads are like, nah, man, like, I, I don't I don't, I don't think it's Jover. Because, like, I think we still got, like, a little bit of juice left. Yeah, I mean, listen, I mean, you're a Giga Chad, I see you, but a new report from Insider Gaming says that almost every creative decision for the better part of two years, two years, Concerning X Defined ended with the same question, and I quote, What would Call of Duty do? Bruh. Like, dog, why y'all suck is. I get it, like, Call of Duty is a big game, I get it, and let's be real, they wanna compete with Call of Duty, nothing wrong with that. But, like, dog, y'all suck is should be asking questions, okay, where should. Wh what Call of Duty did wrong, why people are not liking Call of Duty the way we. the, the way players used to, and what we can do better right like okay yeah chase call of duty chase call of duty but don't be like what would call of duty do do stuff that call of duty isn't doing right now do what players are not liking right now that call of duty is doing that's what you all just need to do but to put more salt on the wounds tom henderson just came out something behind x defined toxic boy culture <laughs> crunch and years of delays uh he's talking about at first the boys club he's talking about that hey like it's a boys club the devs don't give a f right now it's like a toxic place uh crunch uh the issue with the boys club isn't that the managers or directors telling devs what to do after all that's their job but it's the lack of work ethic unpleasant behavior and the egos from these individuals that have created a really unhealthy place to work said sources one member that that has no design experience or people experience and has been given directorial powers because of the personal friendship in this in this the goddamn thing that we're seeing across the gaming industry the movie industry people that aren't even gamers are apparently given these roles and i will have a video on this one specifically very soon where you hear global head or marketing for xbox right kelly raise your hand if you're not a white man and you buy video games no hit towards a white dude it's just another day in the gaming industry that minorities have to fight to prove they exist this. you like this is not like a rando right this is apparently a global head for marketing for xbox point here is that these suckers are hiring people based on the skin the color of their skin because uh, what they have between their legs and also who they're friends with rather than the actual talent so obviously games are gonna turn out the way they are turning out right nobody's really talking about the actual issue at hand i know some people are talking about it you guys are talking about it uh but but like i, I feel like that this is what we all need to talk about right now doc is frustrated i understand but even he is not tackling the real issue at hand but check this they pushed at the engineers across the multiple studios that have been on this game for 20 plus years have they put have we put too many features on this old ass engine to the point where it's just, it's becoming unmanageable. It's breaking down. I don't know about that I, one, bro. Like, I, I don't think, think there are too many. Up. I don't think there are too many. I really do. Yeah. 
Just comb that mustache, bro. I, I want to see you com really, uh, combing that mustache. Bro. Really, really do. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. It's one of the only few games that exists right now. Sadly, uh, and that's fine. In terms right? of the first-person yeah. shooter, PvP, whatever you want to call it, online world. Yes, yeah, that actually brings in a little bit of violence and speed and momentum. You know, a philosophy. I know, I know, I know, I know bro. I know, man. Of ours. I know, bro. Dating back to <laughs> H1Z1 days, and you yeah. know what I mean, champ. I know what you mean, brother. I know, boo boo. I know what's going on, Boo Boo. Yeah. Guys, a real before, real quick before we show you the climax, I have started a brand new channel. Yeah. It's called Skizzle Two. I would love to have you there. Definitely subscribe. That this is where we're gonna be uploading content that's different from gaming. So definitely subscribe. Yeah, Obviously, okay, well, we have well, 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 a Scary X as well, and this is where we upload like UFO content. Most of you guys are already already are aware of this channel. This is where we upload UFO content, uh, horror content. But uh, definitely subscribe to this new channel as well. We're starting on another one here. Yeah, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three Remake. With a gunsmith, we got 2,500 attachments, 3 million fucking guns, armory challenges to customize any gun to your likeness. Yeah, Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels like it's a very, like... Call of Duty got no competition, man. That's Game's where it's right. at. That's where it's at. Like I said, it's, guys... It's a... It's not a mature game. It's just built for kids now. Uh, an yeah, old man, 85 yeah, yeah. years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, there was all... It's Joe over. Truly, it's Joe over. Because Call of Duty got no competition. We don't even know when x Define is coming out. And all the bad news is coming out. Rumors are coming out about, like, starter packs, boosters. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the microtransactions and booster skins and whatnot. Yeah, we have that information, but we do not know when the game is coming out. So that tells you everything you need to know. Always. And it's always kind of been that way. But at least it wasn't fucking just... Throw this in here, throw this in here, throw this, have this in here. Not nothing like is kind of like controlled or balanced or yeah, or or like there there was always that sense of like, hey, let's yeah, you know, let's yeah. still reel it in so that the game isn't layered with a bunch of bullshit, man. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. just. And now, obviously, they do not want to have curvy female characters. Strong, independent. And they also don't want you to play if you are white, right? Like, if you're a white man. I personally am brown, though. Like, I, I, I'm ethnically brown. I'm, I am. Okay, that's not a joke. I am ethnically brown. I'm Pakistani, which is uh, brown origin. I'm from a brown origin, okay? So I think I will be fine. Nah, I'm just joking. And I'm not trying to play that race card. It's just that I don't understand why these bozos are playing. And Kelly, she is on top of the food chain. She's on top of that uh, X, uh, Xbox marketing uh, global head of marketing saying that what I don't even know where to begin yeah scratch your I head can't brother. Even put together thoughts damn homie homie kind of gave up though think and I don't know like am I supposed to do outros on these kind of videos what a guys click, click on this video on the screen this is the last video that we've done and this is where you're gonna hear what Xbox just did yeah these captions are legit right now Microsoft Xbox they fully went woke click on it and I'll see you right there <laughs>